can we be connected in a human world? Here's a few things. LinkedIn, one quick tip. Many of us connect often on LinkedIn, but we do this in this very dehumanizing, thoughtless, robotic, New York City subway train, my ears plugged up, approach. Video personalizes and humanizes the experience. We saw the amazing video from Visa, right? It's not hard to do video. All of you have that tool, of course, in your pocket, whether you buy a high-end or middle-wage camera, as I have, or you use your smartphone. That is all it takes to produce video. It just takes the effort to do it because it's very difficult to meet a lot of people all over the world. But when you show your face and you're smiling, people can get a sense of who you are and who you're not. So how to use video. One other thing you can do is get a tripod. That's it. And I have attachments. I'm going to take the time that go on top of this. And you can put your smartphone or your camera. So something like this is why do you want this? For stabilization reasons. So here's a tripod. Another thing you need to do good video is good lighting. And always have the light hitting you. So behind the camera, why is lighting good? If you're dark like me, you'll see your teeth. If you are not dark like David, you just won't see him. So... You just got to make sure that you got the lighting right. You, under, you understand what I'm trying to say as delicately as I can, because some of y'all will freak out on certain things, and I respect the ASBDC. They're careful people and all that. So, um, so there's that. Lighting is important. Audio is important as well. Now, for most smartphones, you can just use your regular audio and hold your camera and talk. It'll be just fine if you're in a room by yourself. If you're in an event like this, there may be more loud noise. And again, you can get a shotgun mic and... Washington, D.C., you got to be careful about what certain words you use. But here's a shotgun mic I carry with me. It's called a shotgun mic because it, you know, yeah, it's a shotgun mic. And you just plug it into your device, and this uh, centralizes the sound. So this young lady speaking or one of the people here, I can just focus on your voice. So another thing that I have, and I think it's important to share it with you, because, again, I want to empower you all, but I want to empower you to help the amazing clients that you work with. Another type of microphone that I carry with me, and again, these are just little, cheap little tools made in some faraway country, most likely, and one microphone for me, one microphone for the other person, and the other side I plug into my camera. Why? If I'm interviewing Bruce here about what he talked about, the economics and small business, I can clip one on him, one on me, and we both can be heard. Last but not least, of course, is your message. I think one of the gentlemen in one of the rooms was saying he learned that you don't have to be a scripted with your message, and it's so true. Now, you need to plan it somehow, but it's simply the message you're saying is of utmost importance. Two types of video I recommend everybody have. One is a sizzle video. The sizzle video is what? The sizzle video where the music's playing, boom, boom, boom. You walk, hey, my name is Kendra. I'm the small business superwoman, so on and so forth, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. You follow what I mean. Now, of course, if David did that, I wouldn't expect him to do all that. It'd be more so, good afternoon, America. I'm David with Visa. You follow what I mean. So, you know, you don't have to do all the things like this and all that. But that's the sizzle video. It's polished, and most likely, it doesn't change that much. Education is the next one. Education is the next type of video. And education is sharing that knowledge with people over and over and over and over and over again. Education. I do that all the time. Some of you may have seen my video. And part of education, and you can look busted and crazy. I don't care about my hair, sweat, how I look. I used to get a big thing like, let me position the camera so my nose doesn't look so enlarged. But you know what? I just wear the large nose. It's wear it and love it. So education is important. And education could be also, it's not for all of you. But as you build a fan base and an audience, people said, Ramon, we like you sharing just serendipity. So I talked about here how I was late to the airport, but I was still on time because... For me, on time is always late, so I'm always early. So my point is, this is very, very important. Sharing, sharing, sharing. People ask, how do I sell? How do I build a following? Produce good content. You ask anybody, Jay Bear, anybody else talks about this, our speakers here today, your counselors. Share, 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 and educate. Yes, there's room for sales. But I say for very, very small businesses that don't have a sales team, video is one of the most powerful mechanisms that you can have. Comments. Comments are important. And if you don't respond to comments, you're living in a world of silence. You're not responding. Now, if you have zillions of followers, I got it. You can't do it all. But be purposeful. You all and tell your clients, respond to comments. Texting can be important. Just texting 
is a way to touch people. It makes a difference. Um, SMS marketing, let's take the business case of this. It could work for short message text as a marketing tool, and you can do it in mass. Sure, it's a little less human, as it were, but everybody's so inundated with all kinds of tools, but texting to a qualified audience that really wants your information can work wonders. How many of you are on text, text uh, lists that the company sent to you? And I bet it's not a lot, but I bet if you are, you want them to come. I bet it's not too many, but a few companies, you want them to come. So SMS marketing, again, these are tools you can talk about your clients. Take selfies. It builds people together. It makes a connectivity. Selfies are important because it bonds two people together. And don't just take selfies for the purpose of taking selfies, but take selfies, tag people, share them. That's how we can leverage the power of technology in a human-connected world. Videos are important. If you can't talk to people, do video calls. If you have a team that's remote, use video. Use video, it's powerful. This is just something I stole off the internet. You don't look for me there. So video is important and video is powerful. Email is powerful as well. I find that email is a very, very powerful tool for sales and other things. And the tips I'll give you to use email, one, have a good subject line. Don't have something boring. Two, keep your audience in mind. And three, be personable. One of the best ways to be personal through email is to use somebody's name in the subject line. Sure, we all know it. It's not, it's a technology thing. It's a game anybody can do. But doesn't it go further when you open your email and hear, dear Bruce, dear T, dear Donna, you open a little, especially if it's one you want. Hey, hey T dash from Ramon, our weekly, whatever. He's gonna open it up much better. So these are ways to become human in a technology-driven world. So now I wanna talk about some things we can do as humans as I come to a close. Well, we can do just to be humans. A lot of these things that are leveraging no technology. You can tell I love talking to people so much. Anybody been to Newark Broad Street train station? Penn, Newark train station, Penn Station, anybody? Okay, if you go there, you see no statues. They are hard to talk to and have conversation with. Very, very, I mean, I like people so much. I tried. I was talking to the girl, just talking to her, saying, hey, what's up, everything. She just wasn't, wasn't talking, no, nothing. So anyways, um, so how can we do? One, send a thank you card. Say thanks. Whether you say it in person as we did, T came up right and said, thank you for being here. Give a small token, small gift to our speakers. Say thank you. It's important. And oftentimes we may not be able to say it in person. Just send a card. It's a cheap piece of stupid paper. But what does it mean to the recipient? It means you care. You care. So send a thank you card. Very, very important thing to do. And as I said, express thanks. Moving on. Have a phone call. Phone calls are powerful. And one quick tip on people's birthday. Do you know why I purposely turn on the, the notification of birthday messages? So I can call people. Look up when walking and smile at people. Smiling is good. I love to smile. You can smile everywhere. So that's my last tip of the day is to smile. And, and I'll tell you another tip. Smile. Smile. It, it, it builds wonders. Even people, I've been stopped by cops, not a lot of times, but a few times. You know the first thing I do when I'm stopped? What do I do in the first thing I do? So, officer, officer, bill it is. I'm a, I'm, I spoke at the ASBDC conference a month ago, and uh, how are you? Oh, ASBDC conference? I'm good. You know what? Go ahead, Mr. Ray. Go ahead. You're cool. It works every time. And the other thing I'd say is smile. I mean, really, smile. Do you want me to show you some more slides of me smiling? I won't do that. So smile. Listen, it's been great being with you all, and I think that it's important to go back to as we were as babies, as we were as small children, as we were as little kids. We know how to smile. We know how to connect. The human experience is within us, and I would encourage us to do that. And my really recommendation to you all, my thought to you all, is uh, Precious in the Room. She's maybe not in here, but I met her yesterday, another from another amazing chapter, is that I'd love to know how can I help you all if I can help you, if I can be at your chapter, if I can speak at your events, if I can work more with the ASBDC, and again, Don and T, thank you for having me, and Karen, please let me. My joy is helping America's small businesses start and grow, and that's what I do day in and day out. And so what do we learn today? One, human connection, digital world is good for one, building our brain, yes. You can make more money, build your brand, make more sales, absolutely. That's one reason to do it. But there's another reason as well, and that's we can be better humans, better humans for each other. But I think the most important thing, and I please go back and tell your clients is, there's nothing better than enriching another human being. And you can use that with technology, and you can use that just face-to-face -face without technology. Both work. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. I personally feel that small business owners are superheroes. Again, always a shout out my love for law enforcement, our veterans, uh, teachers, and, and many walks of life. But in the context of this event, 
Small businesses are amazing, and our superheroes are to be superheroes. But there's only one person that can teach a superhero how to be a superhero. Who's that? Tell me. Okay, Kendra. Oh, yes, and the broader one, yes, is another superhero. And so for me, I say that you all are the real superheroes. You all are superheroes because we small businesses can't be superheroes unless you teach us. My name is Ramon Ray. Thank you so much for your attention, and I appreciate the time. Thank you.